Hi everyone and welcome to today's painting tutorial. So I found it really interesting actually. I was looking on YouTube and I couldn't find many tutorials that actually took you through how to use the scale 75 uh, metallics. So I thought I'd do a tutorial today on how to use the uh, copper series. Um, so I won't be using every single paint from the kit, but this will give you a, a good idea of how to utilize these awesome metallics. So I'm gonna be starting off with decayed metal and I'm going to be painting a chaos shield for this one today. So after getting a nice consistency, just adding a little bit of water there, just gonna start applying the base coat. So I had also shaded the shield after the base coat of Decayed Metal with Agrax Earthshade from Citadel. And now I'm going to be moving on to a dry brush of Old Copper. Now, of course, for this step, you could just do standard highlights, uh, such as edge hi highlighting, for example, and spot highlighting. But Considering it is a copper and it is a chaos shield, I wanted it to have a sort of rusted effect. So I decided to use a dry brush for this step. And even at this stage, you can see how awesome these metallics look already. Uh, and we're only three steps in. So now I'm gonna be moving on to Victorian brass. And I'm going to be using a Raphael 8404 size one. So just begin by doing some edge highlighting around the details. And as always, you can do either a dabbing motion or you can just do um, straight lines. I sort of like to do a little bit of both depending on what I'm working on. Um, Especially with metallics as well, I find the dabbing motion works brilliantly as it just gives a sort of more natural sort of vibe um, that you would see in something metallic in real life. That's slightly, almost like sort of grainy, patchy sort of metallic look.
So now with the Victorian brass done, I'm going to be moving on to Amber Alchemy. Just this one here. Now at this point, you can already see it's looking pretty cool, but as always, I like to take it as far as I can without overdoing it. So I'm going to be using a small dry brush for this part to just begin lightly working around, just give a little bit more shine to the shield. And it will really bring out all of the previous highlights as well. And now just switching back to my Raphael 8404 size one, I'm just gonna start doing some spot highlights. Just in and around the previous highlights, just to add a little bit further shine. And now I'm going to be moving on to the last highlight, Moonstone Alchemy. Now there are three other paints in the Copper series that I haven't actually used uh, for the purposes of this video. Uh, that being the Garnet Alchemy, Ruby Alchemy and Pure Copper. Uh, the Garnet Alchemy and Ruby, uh, Ruby Alchemy, I should say, um, having a sort of uh, red and pink cherry sort of tones to them. Um, and the pure copper I just didn't need uh, for this shield. But I'll definitely look into doing another tutorial um, as soon as I can think up an idea of when I can utilize those three remaining paints from this kit. But yeah, um, really, really beautiful, beautiful metallics. Um, definitely uh, the best ones that I've used um, in my well, in my opinion so really at this point just picking out the uh, obvious sort of details um, like all of the bolts just to add a little bit more And just some final edge highlights around the rim of the shield. 
And that is my tutorial on how you use the uh, Scale 75 Copper Series. Um, so yeah, really fantastic metallics. Now, I will leave a link below. Uh, there are some rust and water effects I added to the shield afterwards. So I'll leave you a link below of Darren Latham's video on how to do that, as you can see on the shield there. So thank you so much for watching today, and I will see you in the next one.